Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday here, post Powell. It's the 18th of May. The uh, the reflation of assets is basically what's going on here. Um, equities higher, gold higher. Uh, Currency is basically unchanged. Equity futures sold off modestly at the open there, um, but uh, never really got below 50. And then just stayed bid the rest of the day. Very surprising. Um, but Powell put on a pretty good show, I guess, over the weekend, basically insinuating that And explaining to the herd that the Fed can print money, as he put it, quote unquote, digitally, which is QE, uh, up to basically an infinite amount. This, of course, is why gold is higher. Suddenly people started going, wait a minute, really? Is that what they're doing? Uh, so some late bandwagon gold buyers uh, jumped on board here. Should test, I guess, this uh, 1790 area. Let's see. Let's see how she looks up there and, and what's going on with gold when we get there. Might even be a New York session today. Um, but I'm surprised. I'm surprised ES is here, 2876. Middle of nowhere, so, so not a ton to do. Let's look at currencies. Euro, um, right where we left it. Silly move up to uh, 108.50. No idea why that happened. I guess everyone was short, thinking this trend line would break on Friday. Um, obviously, we're all just watching watching this trend line now comes in at 84 today cable got hammered um, Friday Halliday didn't do it any favors with the negative rate chat over the weekend looking for consolidation now in cable people have had plenty of time to get short uh, so now we're going to consolidate sort of between 121.50 and 119.50 sort of on the wide but we're looking for a range trade there dollar swiss dead as a dodo i'll draw this pennant but it's not really i don't think it's that interesting all it basically says is vol is getting crushed um i don't think this is technically going to spring on either side or do anything wild Vol is getting crushed. We're still waiting and watching tactically on this 98.05. The trend book is still short. Uh, just sitting there, not doing anything. Dollar yen the same. Same type of like consolidative low vol trade. Euro yen. Same. We're stuck here, 116 after we printed those 114.50 very bearish lows. We all remember this, 117.77, that was after the fix. Insane. Um, but here we are, 116, nothing happening. Sterling Yen, range trade now. This is following cable. Sterling Yen is not driving the bus, it's just a reflection of cable. You would think dollars are would be able to... Um, go lower here but it just doesn't seem to be able to and I'm not surprised right um, not a great story there uh, politically economically uh, and also climate wise it's not great um, with the lack of water but um, let's see I mean nothing really to do here middle middle of the range Euro Swiss lead balloon. This really looks like it wants to go lower. Obviously, the SNB is here on the bid. And uh, 
I don't know how to trade it. I mean, I guess you just want to be short on any little bounce. Um, but when it does bounce, it's probably going to clear this 106.10 and do something silly. Um, so I don't know. It's tough to trade with the with the uh, SNB there. And that's the way they kind of like it. Uh, you know, they're just trying to lower the volatility so corporations in Switzerland can hedge their euros, hedge their dollars. Because um, everyone here in this country makes tons of their money from other people buying our shit or tourists coming in, um, changing their currencies into our currency and climbing mountains and skiing and all that fancy Swiss stuff. Um, when is this going to break 105 and is it going to be a waterfall? I don't know, but it doesn't look too good. Aussie, a bit of a bounce on this risk. Um, we're watching sort of 64 the figure. Uh, a lot of bad things are going on with Aussie. Their fight with China is not too helpful. But while global risk is still on, Aussie might catch a few people short. We don't have a we don't have a dog in this fight, but um, we'll see what happens with Aussie. Middle of nowhere. You can see this is the theme with everything today. Not only are we tired because we stayed up late last night for that Powell bullshit. Um, the charts don't really yield anything interesting. Euro sterling did break finally um, Friday and traded up to 58. But now we think it's going to go sideways here with this whole cable com complex. So if you're short sterling Norway, um, like we talked about on Thursday, that's one little bit of a rainbow on sort of an ugly low vol day. Here's Dollar Norway. Uh, traded up to 11.10, but now we're back at uh, 11.04. Crude's caught a crazy bid. These charts look useless because of this stupid move down to minus 40. Um, but it's a big move in crude, 4% higher, gap open. Um, I guess it traded back down to that gap at some point. I didn't see that. 29, mm, I guess first hour, definitely did not see that, maybe it was like super early days, um, we sort of noticed it at above 30 bucks, right at the open, anyway crude looks pretty bid, um, in signs that as the world opens there will be some more crude demand, not sure what to do with crude at this point. We've got, uh, we're changing um, contracts from June uh, this week, so be careful. I don't think we're going to get a repeat, obviously, of, of the last contract uh, change, but um, just worth noting uh, that we're changing contracts this week. What else is there? Dollar China. Again, nothing really going on. You can see this is a theme. Um, for me, I would just sum this whole uh, open up as just sort of tired. Tired Monday open. Uh, very summery feel. Equities higher, squeezing, um, squeezing all logical shorts. Crude also higher. Um, basically risk on uh, and I'm not sure why everyone's so happy happy joy joy but they are so uh, if you're gonna sell stretch highs give it some room right maybe 29.10 in ES uh, maybe 30 31 bucks uh, in oil the high has been 30.92 you want to stick with your core short Euro Norway <laughs> And otherwise, you just wait. We're keeping an eye on this um, this euro dollar trend line, but with equities higher, you might argue that the dollar should ease off a bit. So, 
anyway, not a whole lot to do today. Uh, manage some of the stuff that we have on. Um, we will be watching these these gold up at uh, 1790. See what happens there. Maybe put up a big double top. And we sit and we wait and we're patient. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.